An exciting day on campus as we welcome new men's basketball head coach Jordan Mincy to the program today. Scott Mincy sitting down with Coach Mincy here in Swisher Gym. Boy, we, we've got a lot going on here the last couple of days and, and looking forward to catching up with you here just a little bit. Let's just start with why now? Why was now the right time for you to take that leap and take your first head coaching job? Well, I would say over the last six years, um, I've had a, a wealth of experience being able to um, learn under the tut tutorship of Mike White at the University of Florida and being able to be groomed and prepared. Um, the time is now and extremely excited to be here. Um, definitely uh, ready to get to work. And like I said, just uh, it's a huge honor to be here. You mentioned the experience. At some point, I'm sure you went through and you're like, my destiny is to become a Division One head coach. What are some of the things, one or two of the things that you took along the way that you said, yep, I want to use this when I get the keys to the car to my own program one day? You know what? As far as just having an identity, understanding how important culture is and building your own culture, um, being able to kind of get a behind the scenes look, um, not only from an X and O standpoint, but from an administrative standpoint as well. Um, knowing that, you know, my former boss, his family's heavily involved in the athletic director world. And so it gave me an inside look as far as how to build a program from the ground up. Um, and then also just knowing how to build strong relationships with our guys and ultimately trying to build a culture and a program from the ground up. All right, so why Jackson? Why did JU come calling to you as far as taking this opportunity? You know, J Jacksonville is like a second home to me. My wife and I, we're an hour and 30, uh, hour 45 minutes down the road. And oftentimes we come down here on the weekends. You can see us at the Peloton store in St. John's. Um, but like I said, it's, uh, it's been a place where I've come to recruit. I've talked to different, you know, high school coaches in the area. And it's a passion here. Uh, it's a sports city. And they love uh, to watch their sports and, you know, be behind their athletes. And so JU is a sleeping giant in my mind. And I'm excited to get it going. All right, you brought it up, your experience just down the road for the last six years, your most recent coaching stop. Why do you think it is an asset that you have experienced coaching here in this state and really understanding how basketball works in this region of the country? Well, obviously, just knowing the recruiting landscape, having those strong ties and relationships, um, especially in the state of Florida, um, it's an unbelievable competitive advantage for us. And being able to tap into those relationships from day one, I look forward to uh, continuously uh, having those relationships continue to grow and build. And like I said, just trying to make sure we build a healthy roster along with the guys that we have here. And like I said, just being down the road and building those relationships the last six years, um, it gives us a competitive advantage. So what's the last 48 hours or so been like for you? Have you had even a, a chance to get to most of the calls and texts I'm sure that you've received? You know what, I probably have about 500 uh, unanswered text messages on my phone and uh, my wife, you know, she's such a, um, she's such a soldier. And um, she actually took my phone from me the other day at the dinner table. She was like, you know what? You haven't uh, taken one bite to eat. And so, you know, things are moving fast, but, you know, I can't, I can't, uh, definitely can't complain. The opportunity to meet um, individuals all over campus um, in the city of Jacksonville, it's been a very rewarding experience. And so um, just extremely excited about the opportunity. I know I'm probably running on a lot of adrenaline right now, uh, <laughs> but like I said, a couple, cup, a couple cu a cups of coffee um, I'll be fine. And so, like I said, it's been great. That's great. Uh, what easy question for you here. What does Jacksonville University basketball under Jordan Minton look like? So I, I try to say this. Jacksonville University, a men's basketball program under Jordan Minty's leadership is going to be a program that's resilient, a program that has a unbelievable work ethic, a program that is first class when it comes to a character. We're going to do an unbelievable job of building relationships, not only at JU, but in the Jacksonville community and also uh, Duval County. And, you know, we have a rich history here. We understand the importance um, that this, this opportunity plays, um, not only, like I said, in the campus, but also in the city of Jacksonville. And so just ready to get to work, as I continuously say, um, unbelievable opportunity. And like I said, just ready to get to uh, laying the groundwork. When all of the hoopla is behind you here over these next couple of days right. and, and right. you get a chance to really sit down and hit the ground running, what are you hoping to accomplish first when you really dive headfirst into this opportunity? Well, obviously one of the first things I had the opportunity to do yesterday was meet with the team. And I have opportunity after the press conference today to have one-on-one -on -one individual meetings and just kind of pick those guys' brains. 
um, trying to figure out, you know, how can I help them reach their goals? Ultimately, um, you know, we're a student first driven organization and that's how we're going to do. That's how we're going to run this. And just being able to say, hey, how can I serve you? You know, obviously I'm leading, I'm leading your leader, but at the same time we have a service leadership. And I'm putting them first, trying to figure out their goals, their aspirations, and I want to be able to help them reach those goals. Ultimately, when they leave here, I want to make sure they're able to be successful in every field of human endeavor. And so, um, like I said, it's going to be a whirlwind. Things are moving fast, but definitely want to uh, build a groundwork brick by brick. A lot of people are going to look at you and say, he's a pretty young guy, but you've been coaching for over a decade. You played point yeah. guard in college. A lot of times people are like, you know, that's kind of a coach on the floor type deal. You've been building toward this, we know. How, how do you think that you have the advantage of number one, being younger, but also having that wealth of experience as you step into this role? Well, it's funny you, it's funny you say that. Um, actually, within our team meeting yesterday, uh, the two Boozer twins, I, you know, I gave them an opportunity to ask questions. And I said, uh, what are some of the questions you guys have for me? They said, Coach, I just have one question. You, uh, you look like you're pretty hip and you're pretty young. <laughs> and I said, uh, you know what, I have an older soul. Um, I'm definitely, um, you know, connected to the younger generation. Uh, but at the same time, like you said, if you see with my resume, you understand with my stops, um, I have a wealth of experience. And so um, been unbelievably blessed to have mentors that poured into me and give me the knowledge I need in order to be prepared for this situation. Well, Jordan, we're excited to have you here and excited for what not only is coming up in the next couple of hours and days, but what is coming up over the next several months and years as you build this program here at Jacksonville University. Congrats and welcome to the, welcome to the team. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Like I said before, just getting ready to get to work. He is head coach Jordan Mincy of the Jacksonville men's basketball program. Stay tuned to JUDolphins.com for continuing coverage throughout the week.